Hi, it's Sarah Shaw Entrepreneur, and I'm back again today for the third video in my free video series. I wanted to thank you so much for participating and hanging out with me. And if you didn't get a chance to see the other two videos, they are right above me. So feel free to check those out anytime. All right, first things first, the Biz Control Bootcamp opens for enrollment today. I'm really excited. People are signing up like crazy, and I hope you will be one of them too. If you're not exactly sure what it is or haven't had a chance to review all the details, you can click on the links above or below this video, and it will take you to the sales page where you can read all about it, get all the information, and see if it's the right program for you. I created the Biz Control Bootcamp because I wanna show you how to be way more organized organized in 2014 and take back control of your business. I know it's really hard. We wear so many hats as designers and it's really difficult to stay on top of your sales, your marketing, your communication with your buyers, you know, what to do, when to post on social media, when to write a blog and all those things that make up who your business is today and give you the most brand exposure possible to get the most sales. So I want to be the one to show you the ropes and teach you how to do all of these things so that you can have a much more calm day-to-day -day existence in your business, be more happy, and be able to live the life that you've always wanted to live as an entrepreneur. One of my favorite parts about the boot camp is that it's only a 15 minute call each Monday morning where you'll learn all about that week's module and it gets followed up with easy to do daily emails that give you bite-sized morsels and it will seem so easy to you, you'll be surprised. The other really cool part is that there's gonna be twice a month Q&A with me live. You can ask me any questions that you have about the boot camp, your business, what's going on, what you should do next. Plus, there's a private forum where you'll be able to interact with all the other members, get answers from them and myself, possibly even meet some people you can do some joint ventures with, share store lists, um, get creative, promote each other. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. My boot camp breaks everything down into bite-sized morsels, so you'll be able to accomplish all the tasks while running your existing business. I'm going to show you how to be more organized than you ever imagined, and you will get Get more done in a day than you ever thought possible. I'd love the opportunity to share my new methods with you and help you have your business run more smoothly and be more efficient than you ever thought possible. And the best part is that it's super affordable and there's a single one-time pay of less than $300 or a three easy pay system. And you can find all that information in one of the links above or below this video. Now let's talk about how to communicate with your customers. First of all, I wanna thank all of you who sent me the links to your blogs last week so that I could take, check them out, which they were awesome, and I loved being able to give you a few tips. So if you've taken my advice from video number two and you've either started a blog or sort of rethought and revamped the current blog that you have, I wanna to talk to you today about how to communicate with your customers on a different level so that they get to know you better, learn more about you and your brand, so that they feel more comfortable buying from you. My own product line, I like to email my customers twice a month. There's one exception to the rule, and that is if you get some awesome piece of press or a new celebrity that you want to share with them, then I make an exception to the rule. I usually decide based on what I want to share how many times I'm going to email them within the month. So my usual deal is that I will offer them one special offer per month. It can be a promotion, a sale, or anything that you can do to get them to buy a certain product. It might be holiday related. And then the second email that I send is to let them know about my blog posts. And that I usually will send a few sort of one-liners giving them some highlights as to what I've written the posts about. And one of the things that techniques that I use is to highlight in bold or in a color some keywords that I think might attract them to click. If you took some of my advice from video two and you decided to have a Q&A on your blog, if you happen to be sending an email about one of the Q&As, you might want to mention it again and invite your customers to send in their questions. It can be a simple PS, hey, we like to uh, answer and take Q&As, so if you have a question, feel free to send it in, or you may design some special logo that goes you know, with your um, Q&A blogs, posts like mine for Entrepreneur. It's there, I have a logo that says, Ask the Entrepreneur. So if I'm ever doing um, promotions to get more people to send me questions, 
I'll usually use that icon in the email, but you can see what works best for your customer. Not everything works the same for everybody's business, so do what's best for your customer and your target market and do what appeals to them the most. This might seem like a simple plan to you, but what it is is the consistency of it. What I find is that most designers email once a month, maybe every other month. It just sort of depends when they get around to it. And what I'm trying to explain and get the point across to you is that it's the consistency of emailing them twice a month. You know, it's not too much. It's only twice a month unless you've got some good news to share and then, you know, just let it rip. But, um, but the two times a month is really consistent. And what that does is keep you in front of people so that they remember you. Did you know that it can take up to seven times for somebody seeing anything about you or an image of your product or getting an email from you before they might buy from you? And that can stretch out into months and months if you're only emailing every once in a while or once in a blue moon. So I really encourage you to come up with a twice a month email program so that you can stay consistent and in the forefront of all of your buyer's minds. So that said, your homework for this week is to design and implement an email marketing system that's going to work for you where you can start emailing your customers as early as next week. I go into tons more detail about this, small steps, tips, tricks, little ways to implement and little, you know, helping you with subject lines and ideas and all kinds of things in the Biz Control Bootcamp. So I really hope that you'll be able to check out the links above and below this video, read all about the program and see if it's something that you feel will work for you and help your business grow this year. I really look forward to working with you. And until then, when in doubt, take the next step.